Welcome to the Simple Sophisticate Podcast, where intelligent living is paired with signature style. I'm your host, Shannon Abels. And whether you're listening on your commute, exercising, working in the garden, or sitting down with a hot cup of tea or a cafe au lait, thank you for tuning in. Let's get started. So I don't know if you can hear that, but those are the fighter jets, the French fighter jets that are returning from Paris, going back to the air base after having flown in the red, white, and blue colors across the city. Welcome to the Simple Sophisticate episode 217. I am in France and now I am in the northern area of France, close to Normandy or in Normandy. I have had the opportunity uh, and as you're listening to this, um, I will have left this place, but I have had the opportunity to stay with um, author, blogger, creative individual, Sharon Santoni, and right now I am sitting in the cottage that I am staying in um, at her place, and throughout our conversation today, you'll probably hear um, the bird, you might hear the dogs, um, as I have the barn door open, the half door open, and have always had a window or door open as I've been here in France in every place that I've stayed. Just that fresh air is just absolutely luscious. And today's episode is really just going to be a meandering of thoughts. This is my last podcast episode from France. Uh, The next time uh, we meet (laughs) on the Simple Sophisticate, I will be back in Bend. And it has been a wonderful trip. A few things I just wanted to talk about. Um, I am in the background actually um, watching Wimbledon. I'm actually just seeing right now the Duchess of Sussex and the Duchess of Cambridge arrive at Wimbledon to sit in the Royal Box to watch Serena Williams play in the championship match, which they have to wait for because Nadal and Djokovic had a suspension from yesterday because of weather and are playing their um, fourth match, uh, fourth set and potentially fifth set, depending on how it goes. Um, so it's just an amazing conglomeration of, of being in a country that I love watching sports that I absolutely love means so close to them, hearing the fest- festivities, um, of the, of the country celebrating Bastille day. And I mean, it just, it's very surreal So a few things, some of you may already know some of this stuff, but a few things, um, I had the opportunity yesterday, so I'm taping this on Saturday, on Friday, to go to a nearby city in Normandy, Rouen, Rouen, and have lunch at the restaurant, the oldest restaurant in the country of France, I was informed, which... It opened as an inn in 1345 and has always been there ever since. It's now a restaurant. As we know, it's been a restaurant for quite some time. La Corone, um, the crown. And that is the restaurant where Julia Child had her first French meal, which arguably inspired her to begin what we now know her for, her introduction of the French cuisine to American culture. So I went, had a full meal, a lunch, I, and that's exactly what she had. She went and had lunch, and I showed all the images on my Instagram um, stories as well as for on my permanent Instagram page. I will be doing a detailed post on that whole experience in the coming weeks. But to say anything right now about it, to encapsulate exactly what it meant to me, I wouldn't do it justice. It, it was emotional for me. It was powerful. It was, I was by myself and I'm very actually thankful I was by myself because I really was just soaking it up and just trying to make sure it was real. 
And there are a lot of reasons for me, aside from just the, uh, the cooking aspect of Julia, that I'm drawn to her. And I'll someday share all that um, with you. So that was um, Friday. And I also had the opportunity to walk about the town, which I highly recommend if you're close by in Paris, which most of us arrive in Paris when we come to France. The town ruin is only an hour or two, hour, hour and a half away. And it's it's a beautiful downtown area. It was dramatically destroyed during World War II. Um, and so you have a lot of rebuildings there in the town center, but it's just lively. There were people walking everywhere and the shops were open and the market was open. And, and this was in the middle of the day on a, on a Friday. And, um, I, I had a lot of fun and I was looking for brocants because I'm with Sharon Santoni and I'm trying to absorb as much of her ideas and, 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 and insights and, and expertise as I can. So she had directed me to a few shops to go to, and then I came across a mini brocante um, uh, table vendors in the city, and I've got my first linen bed sheet with the help of a very kind Parisian woman who helped interpret what I was saying to the vendor, and the vendor was so lovely and so gracious, um, and she showed me the sheet, and she opened it up, and that was one of the things that Sharon taught me was Make sure you open up the entire sheet to make sure all of it's intact. Um, there are different ways to remove different marks, but make sure there's no holes is primarily what you're doing by looking at it. So we did that. She, the, the, the vendor was happy to do that, and I got that for a great price. So I was very excited. And then the parking. So the parking um, is very efficient in France. I, I spoke last week about driving to Aix-en-Provence, and I parked in a parking garage there. Very efficient. They're letting you know before you even go to the garage if it's it's available as far as spots, um, and it's uh, automatically updated. So you are. It's very accurate. And the same thing was the case in Rouen, where I was at. Um, it's very narrow and small, but you can absolutely do it. Absolutely do it. You just have to take your time. And um, it's recommended. It's been recommended by everyone who has lived here and and who I've stayed with or visited with that it's best to park in a parking garage rather than on the street. So that's what I did um, both times. And um, yeah, it was just a, a wonderful experience. And obviously, I was only there for a few hours, but uh, it would be it would definitely be a town to explore in the future, a city to explore more in the future. So. I will also be posting um, on this episode's show notes, so the simplyluxuriouslife.com slash podcast217, some images um, that I captured from Sharon Santoni's cottage just to offer some decor inspiration. Um, I'll be going into more detail um, with Sharon during our French week, which happens on August 12th, so coming up here in less than a month, um, and she's going to talk a bit more about the tours that she offers around France and um, that experiential opportunity that she gives to people from around the world um, who not only just want to come and, and be in France, but they want to get to know the culture, be part of it, and with someone who knows the culture and lives it every single day. So we'll talk about that, um, or she'll talk about that in August, and I'm really excited to do that and offer that to you guys. Other things, I am going to be I'm taking this week off on the blog, so no post after today's episode, and no newsletter, no Friday weekly newsletter, which I wasn't expecting to do, but I have sincerely absorbed so much information and experiences and, and met so many amazing and interesting people that my brain needs a rest and I miss my boys terribly. So I'm going to give my, 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 my week when I get back, um, to, to settling back in and, um, getting back into my routines, um, of working out and, 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 and eating and resting and, and getting over my jet lag as well, which I will probably have, um, as we do. So I, I, I just want to uh, thank you guys in advance for understanding, but everything goes back on schedule um, the 23rd of July. That's Monday, the 23rd, with a brand new episode of the podcast and a full regular week, as we normally do, right on the Simply Luxurious Life blog with the newsletter resuming that Friday as well. 
So I just wanted to share that with you so you're not surprised and wondering, where are the posts? Um, so I just, I've never taken a week off during the summer. I've never taken a week off except for my regular last week of the year. But I think this one um, will be helpful because I do have a lot of ideas I want to make sure I give time to. And um, we're going to have a fun rest of the summer on the blog um, and the podcast with so many different things coming up. Um, all right. So I also want to apologize. I, on Instagram, there's a new feature on IG stories for, um, followers of any Instagram account to ask questions of them. And I put it up on Thursday asking a question or, you know, posing the opportunity to ask a question and me being so excited to go have lunch with Julia Child on Friday. I missed the 24 hour window to capture all your questions and I saw them all. I scrolled through them the night before and I'm thinking, oh yeah, I'll do that later. Um, yeah, by the time 24 hours was up, as is with the IG stories, they were gone. So I, I want to apologize. I was able to answer one um, about where I would like to travel um, next. Um, so you can check that out on Ask Shannon Highlights on the Instagram feed. But yeah, I had so many and they were great questions. So I'll hopefully be answering a lot of them in the coming weeks as we go forward because a lot of them are about this trip and I am going to do a detailed post on the trip. So don't worry, I will be doing that as well. Um, that was my mistake. So thank you for all of you who sent sent questions. I I look forward to um, getting those answered as we move move forward. What else, guys? So France made it to the World Cup finals. Hello, hurrah, hurrah! That is well. By the time you're listening to this, you already know the outcome, but I don't know the outcome because it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> it was on Sunday at five o'clock. Um, but anyway, so that's a big event here in France. Everyone's been talking about it. Um, even people who probably, um, or like, as they have said, don't watch soccer unless it's the World Cup. And now that their country's in the finals, um, that's quite a big deal. So this episode's going to be a little shorter and, uh, I do want to share, though, a petit plaisir that is something that I enjoyed at one of the dinners that I shared with Sharon Santoni and her family. It was, again, the cheese coming after the, the, the main entree, but we had fresh gargonzola and fresh goat cheese. And then it was offered to drizzle some fresh olive oil on the goat cheese Doing this is very is very common. You you often drizzle um, olive oil on goat cheese, feta, or um, ricotta cheese, and then there was a fresh baguette that was going or making its way around the table as well. And it was it was delicious. It was dessert. I, there was no need for a dessert after that. It was just scrumptious and simple, but seemingly decadent, but not too much. It was not an indulgence. It was a cleansing of the palate and a conclusion to a delicious meal with wonderful conversation and people, even though I only knew some of it because it was partially in French, um, as there were many people at the table this particular evening. But I kind of like that because it was like music to my ears and I tried to pick up on a few things as I was listening. So the petit plaisir I would suggest as you are in summer here in the Northern Hemisphere, but even uh, if you're not in summer, if you're one of my many South Southern Hemisphere listeners, um, is when you get fresh goat cheese right from the farmer, right from that artisan cheesemaker. When you enjoy it, just drizzle a little bit of high quality olive oil on it and uh, enjoy it with a little bit of bread and you'll be just very present in the flavors and in that delicious bite. So anyway, an idea for you, um, hopefully it will bring um, something uh, to savor in our, your everyday. And thank you very much for listening. Um, a full episode will kick off uh, next Monday, July 23rd, and the entire regular blogging um, posting schedule will resume as well. Have a wonderful week. 
Thank you for tuning in to the Simple Sophisticate podcast, where intelligent living is paired with signature style. For more ideas and inspiration throughout the week, stop by the blog, thesimplyluxuriouslife.com, or pre order Living the Simply Luxurious Life, Making Your Every Days Extraordinary and Discovering Your Best Self, which will be released on November 13th, 2018. You can also pick up my first book, Choosing the Simply Luxurious Life, a modern woman's guide, which is now available in paperback as well as ebook and audio version versions on Audible, iTunes, and Amazon, or wherever ebook and audiobooks are sold. To stay caught up on the most recent episodes of the podcast, blog posts, and to receive exclusive news as well as an extra dose of inspiration to jumpstart your weekend, subscribe to the Simply Luxurious Life's weekly newsletter, which arrives in your inbox each Friday to enjoy with a hot cup of tea or a morning cup of coffee. Until next Monday, I'm your host, Shannon Abels. Bonjour.